here we are welcome ladies and gentlemen uh today i'll be your host Mitz, and yeah today i'll be your host for the english 1.1 modern waves live stream yeah let's say this is an official live stream why not what we have in store will be a bunch of crazy new updates new additions which i'm sure all of you have been waiting for and once again as always apologies for the long wait now to start this off we have a special announcement from the developers of modern waves so here it is. Here's the message. 没错，明朝公社正式定档啦。<笑>明朝确定将于二零二四年五月二十三日正式开启全球同步、全平台正式公社，作为一款全平台数据互通的开放世界动作游戏。漂泊者们可以随时随地在各个设备间切换游玩明朝。哦，是纪言将军的通讯。嗯。北洛也发生了长相潮，大家都奋战在一线，我也不能落下，我也要启程去北洛野了。今天代理值班研究员的班就上到这里啦。以上就是本次明朝特别通讯的全部内容啦，拜拜。Very cool, amazing as always. You know, whether I was making this much money on the first patch, no one expected it. You know, but now we're here. And we're at 1.1, not getting funded to do live streams like this. So yeah. So the things I want to start off with the live stream start with the trailer. That's what is exciting, right? So here we go. Now I'm very much a player, as much as all of you. So what will be happening is I will also be reacting alongside you to these uh, videos that Bodmer has prepared for me. So yeah. As I haven't seen them yet, so this may be a disaster. Who knows? Surely not, right? Modern waves messing up things. Nah. We have the cinematic trailer for, um, like the story of 1.1, basically. So yeah, we're gonna be watching this, and let's see what's happening. Yes, please wear your headphones. It's always advisable. Sentinel Jue saved us from the morass of wars. It embodies the hope of our people. Okay. Its future is Jinjo's future. <laughs> and its past mirrors. That of Jinjo's. <laughs> wow. That's okay. The, I, even I was expecting they're going all in on this. That's. Okay. She, she looks so good. I can't wait to pull her. And you should as well. Right now. Well, when she comes out, obviously. Here we have Jue. Interesting. I like those scales. Is it like Jue's like blessing or something? I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out the story. still with me our central secretariat has I'm ratified looking. your succession mm -hmm. this ceremony with sentinel jue will be the final step have you Understood. seen this character <laughs> i'll mend our city scars from battle beneath the crescent god i'm such a simp that's crazy i know you will but otherwise remember, please pay me for this video i have a long Hello. way to go now 
stay focused, and walk ahead with confidence. Okay, so this was like a plan thing, I see. Okay. Master student situation, maybe? We'll I don't know, we'll have to see. Well. Kind of like, you know, when the student has to like overcome the master type of thing. And there we have it. Cool. So that would be kind of like a preview of the story that's coming up in 1.1. 1 .1. As you can see, a lot of exciting things. Jinchi having to first, Jue. Um, you know, we're going to get a bunch of backstory, seems like, on, uh, you know, Changli and Jinchi and Jue. So that's sick. Um, yeah, can't wait to see these characters in action, and yeah, now let's move on to some more juicy gameplay things. So, next we have the Water Waves trailer that Kuro Games uh, prepared for me. So, let's see what this is. I can feel the Sentinel's presence inside, but it's not responding. Okay. So as we all know, we're going to Mount Firmament. That'll be one of the new maps, which is kind of like a snow mountain. Well, the mountain that has snow on it, I guess. Ah, female rover. Always a... You know, a pleasurable sight, I guess you'd say. That's for sure. Okay, everyone is just frozen. Interesting. This Weichi board and the Sonorosphere, they are both a puzzle and an answer. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Clear the blade. Cross cut. Sever. Beckon the divine flames. Wow. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people must be itching to pass. I That's sick. That, that, that was sick. But Bro, I'm not okay about Changli, that's crazy. <laughs> Shine forevermore. Divine moon okay. blessing. Moment of awakening. Sacred light. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that she basically becomes Jewel. It will clash between the Sentinel and myself. That would shape the fate of our city. Okay. This game is almost over. Restore the time. From where does this unfounded confidence arise? He once said it's not easy to become a candle of light, but I still want to try. I want to oh. see if I can ignite a spark of hope for Jinjo. And then we have a Wonder Woman's 1.1 full of eons. Cool. Okay, let's continue watching this. Have some new puzzles. Nice, that's nice to see that we got the same uh, mundane puzzles. It's pretty cool. Like a path opening one. So, so okay, yeah. There's some big brain puzzle.
cool. Like a rhythm type thing. New four cost to do it. Looks pretty good. A new free cost. like a snow wolf i guess nothing too crazy there okay some small range mortar plants i guess the ice cube okay and the bird what the bird do you dwarf castle wiring cool weapons okay then we have some events yep they log an event and some spicy pool towards the end now what we have kind of just get this out of the way first so what we're getting first here is still like this so over here on the 28th of june 2024 between 6 in the morning and 1 p.m utc plus 8 time zone we uh the game will be going under maintenance and then after one o'clock we will be going into 1.1 the composition for this will be 300 asteroids two crystal solvents that's fine and you will receive these by email if you have unlocked them now you'll be able to get this before the version 1.2 update so you're gonna have like a nearly a whole month like over a, a one month to redeem those if you need to catch up or something so that's fine so get ready for that time i know i will be i'm in the bsc time zone so it'll be six in the morning for me i can't wait then let's look at a quick preview here so what we have here the first thing is the new map mount firmament as we all know it's a snowy mountain then we have the new characters we're going to be going into the map a little bit later. So, we have new resonators, Jin Shi. So, she will be a 5 star, a limited 5 star spectral character, uh, mainly focusing on a DPS role. So, that's fine. And then we will have the new resonator, Chang Li, which she will be a fusion type of 5 star limited resonator, which will be focusing on the dps and maybe like a sub dps support role so that's fine we'll have to find more about that whenever we get that new update and then we have their weapons blazing brilliance these, these weapons they like are you seeing this like they're so good and then we have jinshi's weapon ages of harvest really good looks sick they really look like they will match the characters as well that's crazy uh, they're going hard with those ones cool so these again would be five star limited weapons uh, and again just a quick reminder the five star weapons they do not have a 50 50 system so you need to pull 80 times technically and then you're gonna get a weapon but you know you could get early pity you know you could consider that i suppose but yeah so that's pretty cool deciding whether or not to put four pins in this game is definitely easier than in other gadgets i'll tell you that much then we have new missions so we'll have uh chapter one act seven so this will be the continuation of the story where we go with jinchi against chue and then we see all the backstory and all that that's fine and then we have a companion quest for immortal blaze for changli so we're gonna find more about her be sure to stay tuned for that and then we'll have the new echoes we have jue the four cost the free costs are this guy, Lumen Scale Construct, Glacial Dreadmane, and Light Crush. And then the one cost la Lava Larva. That's why. Dwarf Cassowary and then Clang Bang. So yeah, we're getting three new free costs. Three new one cost and one new four cost. Then we also have the new events. So Tales from Mount Firmament. This is the original exploration event. Traces of Mount Firmament, a photo collecting event. 
Devs of Elusive Realm, they were getting a big update for this, with like a new kind of like game mode. Um, Tactical Simulacra, a limited time battle event, and a Lolo campaign, limited time commission event. Cool. So this will be like kind of like an arcade type of event, stuff like that. And more. Like, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get like probably double echoes, double simulated room stuff. Then let's move on to a little bit of a chilling out session, you know, as it is as it is the official 1.1 live stream. <laughs> we have some merch uh, selling on here. So, you know, you can go to this Twitter page and then basically follow these links above me cool so yeah you can check those out and then you can buy all of these things the plushies um a metal badge the fridge mag magnet cool so yeah so this is the plushie the notebook the metal badges and fridge magnets cool so there we go a little bit of a quick shielding session you know how it is then let's move on to the maps so we have mount Firmament. So, Mount Firmament is a secluded, mysterious secluded island, which is kind of like um, all foggy, you know, all looking mysterious and all that. Um, and it's also like secluded from the rest of the continent. It's, it's again like a secluded island. So, yeah, in here we have a couple of special areas. So, we have Luminous Shore, um, Long's Ridge, then we have Long's Crest, Temporal Loop. Long's Rest. Long's Crest and Long's Rest. Okay, cool. <laughs> then Zhuangji Ridges and the Truth Seekers Pass. Cool. So, loads of stuff to explore. Loads of like different like sub subsections of the map, of the new map. So, that's cool. And then we have the big, another big place, which is the town of Mount Firmament, which is uh, Hongzhen, I think, that's how you pronounce that. So as you can see here, it's a small, quaint town. All that we know so far from it, it's a self-sufficient, isolated town. We may get some new shops in here, maybe some new souvenir shops with some free resources, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, stay tuned for that, that is definitely going to be exciting, some more free resources from the souvenir shops. Um, then, inside Hongzhen, we have the Gate of Mount Firmament. Uh, we have a little bit here talking about Jin Yi, which is kind of like the important figure in the city hall. Now, the way that this place is run is in the city hall, it's kind of like people taking over management, like one by one and quickly as well. It's not like a whole like democratic system, it's just like quickly kind of thing. So they kind of just manage it themselves. Uh, that's fine. Water plums, Agachi Springs. And what else do we have? Water Shadow Screen, Water Shadow Play, Brewing Tea, cool. So we can do that. Stream of Snow Shadows. And cool. Then we have Danos Souvenirs. Souvenir Shop. Hello, free resources, everyone. Uh, people are complaining about that. So there it is, I guess. Then Tong Chuan's Pharmacy. So probably another place where we could buy more plants to ascend your characters. Especially your new Jinxi and Changli, which you'll definitely get in ten, one temple, right? <laughs> anyway, let's say that's gonna happen. Cool. Then what we have next is new endgame. Crazy. So, what we do have is we have a new hologram for the crownless. That's crazy. Now... Again, we fought the countless a bunch of times now at this point. Maybe. If you haven't been building Havoc units, then maybe not. But if you have, you've been farming this guy. Uh, so yeah, we now get a hologram version of him. And in this hologram, we're going to get a bunch of buffs. So increases crit damage for the dodge counter. And increases damage caused by dodge counter. And reduces enemy use of vibration strength. So that'll be kind of like the buffs that you get uh, for that. And then as always... Um, yeah. It's specializing in dodging the crownless attacks, which is fine, which is a little bit interesting because now from this, like, GIF, I guess, he doesn't look like a normal crownless. Like, where is his sword, right? Because that's what I was thinking. Crownless has, like, a lot of parable attacks, but, like, if you're basically forced to dodge them because of the buffs, then you basically don't have to parry anything. But it looks like this is going to be different. So yeah, again, we don't know much about this because Modern Voice hasn't disclosed much of this information. It's official 1.1 live stream. 
<laughs> and as always, as you go up in difficulty of the hologram, it's gonna get harder. With new skills, new uh, you know, more HP, more defense, more everything. So yeah. Make sure to dodge, basically. Just dodge. Forehead, you know. That's fine. Now we have the new echoes. So let's start with the one cost. Dwarf Cassowary will be an arrow or a like a healing set. So that's the one cost for that. Then Clangbang, the ice cube, is going to be Spectro and Glacial. That's an interesting combo, sure. And then Lava Larva will be the attack set and the fusion set. Attack set, kind of cringe, but okay. Mm. Then we have the free cause. So we have the Glacial Dreadmane, his uh, Moonlit Clouds set. And then Glacial set as well. That's fine. Then we have an interesting one here, the Light Crusher. He was only a Spectro. So if you're, he's dropping something, you know you're going to get the Spectral element. Now, whether you get X Spectral damage on it, then sound completely different. Then we have Lumis Scale Construct, which is Thunder, uh, Electro, sorry, and Glacial sets. So that's sick. Can't wait to farm those. That's fine. Uh, and then we have the big man himself. We have Jue. The Sentinel of Huang Long. Cool. So yeah, he looks sick. Obviously, his design is amazing. Can't wait to see him in the cutscenes, in the game, in the fight. It's gonna be sick. And we have a couple of gifts of him, of like fighting. You see, we have like these like long, large attacks. And they're kind of slow though, so you know, probably easy to dodge, looks like. Then we have this attack. Where okay, I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's like while well, he's he's shooting things at you, so he's supposed to dodge. Okay. Then we have his echo skill animation. Wait, do that again? Okay, so he boosts you up in the sky and I remember from the trailer showing them that they did them damage as well. So it's kind of like a like a damage echo and a like a support type of echo, right? Because like it helps you explore the map, like jump higher and do all that. That's pretty cool. Kind of like reminds me of what Kaz was, right? The thing that he does where he can jump up. That's fine. And then we have the Omega rewards, as always. Core games has been so nice to the player base. Where, as we saw previously, alongside the daily login event, uh, which gives five limited pulls and a bunch of standard ones, we are also getting 10 limited character pulls, 10 limited weapon pulls, and 10 standard char character or weapon pulls. So yes, in total, we are getting 15 limited pulls, 10 weapon pulls, and a bunch of standard pulls, I don't, I didn't do the maths on that, unfortunately. So yeah, that's amazing. This is definitely bring out my hopes for pulling both Jinxi and Changli. So I'm ready. I am ready. I'm telling you. Yeah, because from my Yingling pulls, I need them. <laughs> so here it is, 1.1 live stream. That's crazy. You know, loads of stuff to get excited for, new map, new story, new characters, resonators, new limited weapons that look sick. And yeah, again, I'll be there on the 28th, 6 a.m. BST for the 1.1 update. Yeah, make sure to check me out and that'll be about it for the official 1.1 live stream. <laughs>